All right, Stromedy just uploaded another video where he says, if you see this, don't pick it up, run. And I watched it and he lied in this video and we're gonna be getting into that on today's video. Nonetheless, let's smash 5,000 likes for YouTube's fastest news network. And if you haven't followed me already on Instagram and Twitter at Real God of Cringe, go ahead and do that. And the fact of the matter is, guys, if you're not subscribed with that bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, now Stromedy starts out the video once again where he's on his roof with his buddies. I don't know why he always goes on his roof to take off his drone, but his drone takes off on the, on the roof as always. He then says, guys, we've been flying our drone around. I haven't intended on making a video right now, but we've seen something crazy, so I had to start filming. Well, of course, it's just another one of his friends dressed up, face covered, because they don't want you to see that they continue to use a different friend each time. They, uh, Stromedy cycles through his friends, whom he uses as a character for his videos, because, of course, his videos are made up, which, of course, I will explain furthermore in this video. He gets his drone on this guy, dressed in black, kind of hunched over, dragging a shovel, around his neighborhood, right? Just another Airbnb home or a home that he's rented, of course. They get the drone on the guy and he begins to bury a chest. Now, this is kind of strange because why would somebody bury a chest in a neighborhood where they don't live, right? It's just confusing because even if they did live there, wouldn't they just bury it on their property? Nonetheless, of course, Stromy says, oh, this is crazy that there must be a cult living in my neighborhood because we keep having crazy people, right? People with ladders, different people who are setting us up with traps, obviously and clearly something that Stromedy is staging. Well, Stromedy gets the idea. He says, let's go to where it's buried dig it up, and then open it and see what's inside. Well, he gets his buddies together. They go where the chest was buried. They then pull. They then see actually a little candle holder up top. He says, oh, this is a candle holder that always is placed above where very secret things are buried. Well, so that the person who buried it doesn't forget where they put it. Well, of course, if that was the case, if that was actually a thing, then of course, that was all over the internet, then of course, anytime you saw that candle holder, you'd dig and you'd see what was under it, and the person who buried it obviously wouldn't want to put the candle holder there because they wouldn't want everyone to know this trend that something is buried there. So that makes zero sense. And then something else that makes zero sense, when they actually uncover the... First of all, the, the shovel's still laying next to it, which doesn't make sense. It's, of course, conveniently placed so Stromedy and his buddies can dig up the chest. Of course, their actor left the shovel there as to make it easier to dig up. And once they get the chest out of the ground, there's a chain around the chest because this chest they went and got at their local thrift shop didn't have a good place for them to place a lock. So instead, they put a chain around the chest with a lock on it, but they could have just slid the chain off because, of course, they placed it on there themselves. So they take the time, they get it back to their home, and they take the time to smash the lock that's holding the chain around the chest to pretend as if the chain can't come off the chest unless they remove the lock. But like I said, it's just wrapped around the chest so they could just slide the chest out from in between the the chain. So that didn't make much sense. So they bang it until the lock comes off and then they take the chain off, open the chest and see that there's candles and crosses and all this voodoo stuff. That's when he smells it. He smells a little wine glass he says oh this smells awful he gets his buddy to smell it and then of course his friend starts to panic breathing heavily they then try and help their friend oh friend are you okay they get him on the bed as he's acting almost as if he's out of breath like he's about to pass out he passes out conveniently on the bed shakes his legs in a very uh, sped up video, because of course he has video cameras set up all around his house conveniently, right? And then he puts his filter over the video to make it look creepier. It's like green lines across the screen, completely unnecessary. They then place the chest outside. He says he wants nothing to do with it. He says he thinks that it is cursed and he doesn't want it within his home. He puts it out there. But he believes, based on the CCT footage of his friend flailing about 
on the bed that it's cursed and that it's now cursed as friend. So they just want to get rid of it. They go and they toss it in a dumpster. They come back to the home only to find out that their friend who was flailing on the bed is drawn to the dumpster where it is buried. Well, guys, before this even happens, when they open the chest, they get a random call from the guy who buried it. In fact, when they pulled the chest out of the ground, they didn't take it and run like anyone normally would if the video was real, but instead they stayed there talking with the chest, even though some guy just clearly buried something that meant a lot to him. The guy then comes at him while they're standing there with the chest. He's upset. He says, you know, you don't dare open that or bad things will happen, but he's crawling. He's, I'm sorry, he's walking so slowly just to prove once again that it's just a character that they chose to walk slowly so they could quickly get away with the chest. Nonetheless, like I said, he calls his phone the friend that was cursed, even though he didn't know his number. Clearly has no idea his number, unless, of course, it was staged faked. And the guy dressed up, of course, had his number, who has his fake voice on the line when he calls. Just wanted to let you guys know. Nonetheless, his friend has some sort of urge and is drawn and somehow knows conveniently where the chest was placed, in which dumpster it was placed in. Of course he knows because Stromany let him know because the video is staged. However, in the video, he doesn't know. He goes and gets the chest out of the dumpster and comes back to the Stromany house. Of course, where Stromedy conveniently has a video camera right outside his home to see his friend coming back with the chest. He goes into his friend's room and he says, hey, guy, dude, we got you on video. We know you got the chest in your room. Spit it out. Sp spit it up. We know you got it. Tell us where it is. Spill the beans. He's like, no, I don't have it. Stromedy's like, you're lying. Of course, conveniently, they rip the sheets off. He's in bed and there's the chest. The guy's like, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I did have it. And now at this point, Stromedy's scared. His friend is cursed, right? Supposedly cursed. He's addicted to this chest. He can't get rid of it. And he wants it out of his house. And he wants his friend back. So he says, you know what? Let's go talk to the guy who buried the chest. They go back. Of course, he's conveniently there, ready to talk to him. Of course, because it's a friend that's dressed up. The guy says, who's dressed up, he says... Of course, he's not mad that they took his chest, even though it's his belonging. And he, anybody would normally be mad if you dug it up and took it. But he didn't show he's mad at all, of course, because it's a dressed up character. He says, go get a part of your friend, a fingernail, hair, whatever, and place it in the chest and go get rid of the chest again somewhere else. They go back. They listen to him. He goes off again. He's, they're like, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, guy? The guy dressed up. But he's creepy, he's weird, so he goes off, doesn't say a word. They take his advice. They go to his friend who's laying in his bed and conveniently chop off some, some of his hair. They go into the chest. They place the hair very specially in a little wooden circular box. And then they go get rid of the chest again. They come back, they let their friend know, hey, you've done this, you slept walked, you went and got it. You were attached to it. We took some of your hair, we placed it, and we asked the guy who originally buried it. And we had to do the right thing. Of course, his friend Merrick, and as a miracle, comes out of the curse and is ready to talk and sober enough. Sorry, that's not the right word. But back to earth enough to say, hey, subscribe to my channel. Stromedy says, go subscribe to his channel. Support the other guy who helped me with the video. Of course, because the video is staged, he doesn't have a ridiculous amount of people dressed up, walking around his neighborhood, doing weird and funky and creepy things. So it works out, of course, enough for him to say, go subscribe to these guys who've helped me out with the video. And he says, Stromedy squad out. <laughs> of course, guys, I always want you to know when Stromedy's lying to you. I don't like him lying to his younger fan base. In fact, I'm here on this platform and on this channel in order to let you know when dudes are out here making videos like this just to get clicks and views. I'm not all about that. So, of course, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, you gotta subscribe. Ring that bell so that you stay up to date. And thank you so much for watching.